Hello, my name is Marla Lobley and I'm your liaison librarian and today I'm going to talk a little bit about LibGuides and how we use it at the East Central University Library, how you might use it at your library, and then how it compares to some free online website creation software. So LibGuides is from the company Springshare and they have lots of other products as you can see here um, and I'll mention some of those briefly. We don't have all of their products, but we do have quite a few, and the number of products that you want might depend on your library. Um, but LibGuides, I would say, is probably their main product. Um, we use LibGuides to power our entire website. So every page on our website is built using LibGuides, except for our catalog and our discovery service and those are with other providers. So, and this homepage is all built using LibGuides, um, and I show you this um, because it looks very different from this page, which is a kind of a more typical default LibGuides page with the tabs and the boxes and the columns. And um, so this is how customized LibGuides can be. Um, you can see the difference between the pages. So in addition to housing our website and all of our pages, we also use LibGuides to build subject guides and course guides. So whenever we teach a class in person or online, we always build a course guide that has links and videos or tutorials. Um, we can even put specific books on there and um, through a feature in LibGuides. So we put extra information on the course guide or sometimes it's information that is part of the class and that we will put on course guides. So say if you wanted to do a flipped classroom and have students do some of their learning and lecture materials at home, you could put that on a course guide. And these are very easy to build. And the most time consuming part is getting the content, figuring out what content you want, but actually building it and putting it in to the course guide is very simple. And you don't have to know a lot of HTML or CSS. Um, and I will make another video kind of briefly showing you how to do that. Another neat feature of LibGuides is being able to list all of the databases that you have. Um, it's generally called A to Z databases, but you can change the name. And you can see there's different search options. Um, and then all of these individual databases, you can also add on other guides. And so that is a very helpful feature of LibGuides. We also use LibGuides to do events, and especially if you need to do a virtual event, LibGuides is very helpful. So you can see here we have um, lots of different tasks for them to do, and then using one of the other Springshare products called LibWizard, we have made a form and embedded that into this LibGuide to where you can submit um, an entry in the virtual scavenger hunt. Um, another neat feature of using Springshare products is that they all work together very nicely. And um, so this chat button is from another Springshare product called LibAnswers, and they provide this online chat, and you provide the person to uh, attend to the chat and answer it, um, but they provide the capability for it. So um, how does LibGuides compare to say WordPress, which is probably the most popular um, website builder? Of course, they think so, um, but I would agree. Um, most websites that you see that are built uh, for, by individuals are from WordPress. Um, WordPress requires you to know a bit about HTML and CSS um, or to and purchase a pre-built template and if you want to get things really customizable. Um, it does not have as many features tailored to libraries as LibGuides does, um, but it is free, uh, which is helpful. Um, 
So if you, your library cannot afford LibGuides or SpringShare products, um, WordPress would probably be your best bet. It's just going to take a little more elbow grease to put something together. And um, there is a very large WordPress support community um, and lots of how-to videos and information online about how to build things in WordPress. And um, so that is an overview of LibGuides and how we use it and how it compares to WordPress. And in the next video, I will show you how to create a guide.